Hello, hello, let's go. This is Load Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Okay, first order of business, we're gonna put this RAM stick right in here. Oh, I think I closed that one. Uh. Alright, it is diagnosed and fixed. <sighs> Put the PCI lock back, and I believe only the side panel left. And we are done so. Nice. Well, that was a fast job. <laughs> All right. I guess we could put this thing on the bench. Try and get some 3D mark out of it. And see what we need to deal with. One day, oh, we really need to get this stuff done. <sighs> Here we go. I want to have three to mark advanced edition. Yes, I want to reboot. Okay, and run. Also, I just remember something that I forgot in the last episode, and that is, let's open up the shop, and go into tools, and EPU tuner, add. Now I shouldn't be able to forget it, at least. Alright, so this was a build. Uh, I needed to keep it under a thousand bucks. Right. That's why I didn't pick a cool case. Because <laughs> I needed to go pretty cheap. Alright, now I can see what I'm doing. Uh, let's start with... Motherboard. And I believe I picked pretty much the same parts as I did for a computer last episode. Just because the scores were similar. Alright, let's see. CPU, I think I got an i7. Right in there. Some thermal paste. Chief Cooler and power supply got five hundred watt. Which I believe should be uh, pretty sufficient. And I believe I'm almost going to put a dual graphics card in this one. Uh, 
There we go. Those are the expensive parts. I believe I was pretty close to the limit. Uh, man, it's hard picking out cheap parts, isn't it? And still getting that kind of score. Although it is a challenge, so it is a bit fun too. Not gonna lie. Okay, and we want the ram. And then I believe it's just the hard drive left. Yeah, I, I think that's all, actually. It's quite impressive though. 925 bucks for this. Okay, let's put all the cables in and see if we can actually get the score we were hoping for. If my calculations are correct, we should get just about that. Alright, so... Ooh, we got a really good CPU, but the graphics card really sucks in this one. Um, okay, and it's only a 280. And... Uh-huh. Just gonna get this started and then I'm gonna check what kind of graphic card I could potentially put in there. Alright, looking good here. We're installing the operating system. And they want to have 3D Mark. So we can see that we get the score of, I think it was 4200. Alright, run baby, run! Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, let's see, I got 1050 Ti's. I do have a 970. There's another 970. A couple of 280s. A couple of 290s. Well, I do have a 390. Or... Well... Quite a few of them, actually. Uh, just want to check. Alright, I haven't taken the glass panel off. It was so clear, I didn't see it. <laughs> Mortoni A320M. Mechtech Plus. Uh, it does not support any kind of multi GPU. Good to know. 
Okay, so... Currently runs a 280. So... Maybe it would actually help if I put a 390 in there. That is quite the improvement bump. If we still want to go with an AMD card. Uh, otherwise, I have the 970. That would clear it good. But let's try the 390. I mean, I had three of them, so. Not like it would hurt. Come on now. Here you go. Oh yeah. It cleared the score and I did it on the budget. <laughs> Impressive, isn't it? Okay, uh, let's just put the side panels back on. I mean, it's not a very pretty case, but uh, it's quite a good PC. Alright. Well, that's two of them done. All I need to do is just collect my money. So, let's just do that. Science is happening over here. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks for that computer, it works a treat. My package from Switzerland finally arrived and I spent several happy hours setting up my brand new Colidy O Max 4500 particle accelerator. Cool. <laughs> it's much the same as the Quality Max 4000, but the sensitivity of the moan chamber has been improved. Um, well, I'm guessing this is just Kind of a thank you for helping me stuff. Rig is broken. Oh, replace CPU and replace graphics card, eh? Uh, in three days. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can do it. Alright. You want that kind of score and with water cooling. Well, I'd say that'd be acceptable. Well, and all we need for this is water cooling. Because the scrapper's card actually brought it up to, well, quite a bit over. Shouldn't complain though, I mean, it was scrapper's card I had a lot laying around of. So. Let's see. Uh, what should we do? Uh, 
Well, want that kind of score, so I guess I could do something similar to the ones we've done before here. And let's go to... Send. And let's actually... Go to an AMD brand this time, cause... Well, we just did the Intel one, so uh, I feel we should mix it up. Not fanboy. Alright, get me one of those, and we want 4 gigs, some memory, and we want a Ryzen processor. I just want to check here, that i7 that I bought is 250, so let's get a Ryzen for a similar price. Okay, so the closest I can see here is a Ryzen 5 6 core 1600. So, sure, well, it's 10 bucks extra, but meh. Who cares, really? Spending all your money. And, um,. Can I have M2 on that? Uh, yeah, it says here, M2. So, let's actually get an M2 drive. And then we want a 500 watt power supply. And uh, let's get some 960s. Okay, am I missing anything? Yeah, a case to put it all in. And of course the water cooling. Give me two of those. And not case fan, but a case. Okay, what kind of case would we like to build in? We did this one last time. Oh, there is a Corsair Crystal series. That has glass panels all over. Can't say I'm a big fan of it though. How about this? NCXT. I don't think I've seen that much of this, because it's a limited edition too. PC building simulator, a limited edition? <laughs> okay, let's get one of those. Alright. Oh. Looks fine to me. Uh, just because I kind of want to see... Uh... GPU tuner? 
I kind of want to see how this actually do the overclocking. Like, does it look like MSI Afterburner or something like that? And of course you need to restart the computer for it to take effect. Yeah, it seems a bit similar. Not sure how much it will do, but uh, I should probably have taken note what the scores were before I did it. It seemed easy enough though. So yeah, I think I'm going to end off the episode here, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye bye!